These are my tools to create awesome PS4 tutorials. Let's do this. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Project Phoenix Media and today's video tutorial for your jailbroken PS4 running 5.05. I'm going to show you how to back up your save game files to a USB hard drive, then FTP over to the PS4. So let's do this. So what you want to do is once you're in your PS4, let's go ahead and log into a local account. So I'm going to log into Versatile account here. Once that's done, we're going to go to basically the user's guide. I'm using the cache all method with the LZ 5.05 method. It's pretty awesome. So we're going to go to 5.05 and let's do backup. This make, please make sure you already have inserted your USB hard drive or thumb drive, FAT32 or XFAT format to the leftmost USB port on your PS4. And when you do this process, it's going to copy over all that data over. And it could be quick, it could be longer, depending on how many save game files data that you have to copy over from the PS4. So once that is completed, um, which it will be shortly, the next step we'll do is basically run the FTP uh, file server on the PS4. And once we've gone through that process, once the file server is running, then we'll be good to go. So what we're going to do is go back to user's guide. And this time 5.05 FTP. And make note of the... PS4 IP address and port, which is going to be up in the top left hand corner momentarily. And there it is 192.168.1.23, port 1337. It could be different for you. So, what we're going to do now is let's hop onto my PC and we'll plug in my USB hard drive and show you how to transfer all the files over and get ready to have a lot of good times. Let's do this. All right, so we're back on my computer. I've already plugged in my USB hard drive into my computer. You could also use a thumb drive as well if it's large enough capacity. And we're going to use a program called FileZilla. You can use your favorite FTP program. But let's go ahead and run FileZilla. They're all very similar. And in your FTP program, go ahead and type in your PS4 IP address. My particular particular case is 192.168.1.23. Port is 1337. Quick connect. Yes. So on the left-hand side in this window pane, navigate to your USB hard drive or thumb drive. And there's two main folders that gets created from the dumper tool. DB underscore DACUP and user data. So if I go into db underscore dacup folder, you're going to have these three um, files. So what you want to do on the right hand side is your PS4 file system. So what you want to do is go into system, data, priv, MMS, copy these three files, left click and drag it over and overwrite. Okay, great. The next portion is called user data. Inside user data, there's two folders, system data and user folder, basically. So you just go back to the root of your PS4 hard drive. So let's do that. Here's the root. Okay, so we have system, data, and user. Left click and drag these two folders into the root of the PS4 hard drive. So in my particular case, I think uh, these two folders is 400 and some odd megabytes. So depending on your case, if you have a lot of save game files or not, it could be larger, it could be smaller, and your transfer could take longer or shorter. I do realize that every once in a while you might get failed transfers. I don't think it's too critical. It's probably related to maybe uh, cookies or web host exploits or some other things as well. If you do have any issues, then uh, you could always try to recopy them over manually. But I think it's just related with file permissions and creating folders that the system does not allow you to. But in my case so far to date, um, I did a test and got a war, deleted my save game files, and then I did a backup transfer and my save game files reappeared and got a war. So basically what you want to do is after everything has transferred over, you can now restart your PS4, go ahead, launch your favorite web exploit method, and then once you go into your favorite game, your save game file should reappear inside your game and you already have a lot of good time. So I highly recommend that if you're using a jailbroken PS4 5.05 or maybe an earlier version, make sure to back up your save game files like every once in a while, you know, so that way you, if in the rare event your PS4 crashes, if in the rare event you lose your save game file, at least you have a backup version you can put on your computer FTP over to your PS4 and get back into action. So that's today's video game tutorial. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.